students today i am going to deal with woodward pfizer rule woodward gave certain empirical rules to correlate lambda lambda max with the molecular structure and pfizer modified these rules with experimental data and this modified rule is known as woodward pfizer rules it is used to calculate the lambda max for a given structure by relating the position and substitution of chromophores according to this rule in the molecule a diene system is selected as a basic structure and for this structure parent value is assigned the contributions made by various substituents like alkyl group ring residue double bond the presence of halogens were added to the basic value to obtain lambda max for a particular compound it is used to calculate the lambda max depending on the relative positions of the substitution on the chromogen to give you an example here is a uv spectra of acetone where the lambda max observed is around 270. Five nanometers. So this is the experimental value, and uh, the nearby value is calculated based on the Woodward Pfizer rule. So according to this rule, the conjugated diene system or polyenes are found in most organic molecules. And the lambda max is calculated by addition of base value plus the substituent contributions and other contributions like the solvent effects the sum of these values is taken as lambda max for that particular compound for example in case of 13 butadiene so there are four carbon atoms and the two double bonds are situated at conjugated position so double bond single bond double bond so this kind of structure is considered as the basic structure for diene system and any other groups or substituents which are attached to this basic structure will be added to get the lambda max value for that particular compound for example this is 13 butadiene there are hydrogen atoms attached to this and this is considered as a basic value and if at all these hydrogen atoms are substituted by other substituents uh, as you can see here there are three alkyl groups which are substituted by hydrogen atom on the 13 butadiene so the presence of these substituents on this diene system is also taken into consideration to calculate the lambda max value for that particular compound that means whether diene system or triene means compound having three double bonds in alternate position so the stru structure is taken as a basic structure and the lambda max corresponding to this basic structure is considered as base value or the parent value and this base value or parent value again depends on whether the diene is linear heteroannular or transport diene or cyclic or homoallylinear dienes
the sum of all other substituents were added to this base value to obtain the wavelength of maximum absorption of the molecule. Hence, to calculate lambda max, we have to take into consideration of homoannular diene, the heteroannular diene, endocyclic double bond or exocyclic double bonds. So, I will explain you one by one. Homoannular diene means if the double bonds are present, I mean if the diene system is present inside the ring and it is a part of the ring structure. You can see here this is a double bond and here is a single bond and this is a double bond. If you consider this four carbon atoms in the benzene ring, it constitutes a parent diene structure and since it is inside the ring, it is called as homoannular diene. Then heteroannular diene. If the double bonds are present at conjugated position, no doubt, but they are if they are present or situated in different ring structures, then that diene system is called as heteroannular diene. So here also you can see the double bonds are present in different ring structures, but it is a diene system. One, two. 3 and 4. So, this part of the diene is called as the heteroannular diene. So, that means if the diene is present inside the ring, then it is called as homoannular diene. If the diene system is present in different ring structures, then it is called as heteroannular diene. Then, the double bond present inside the ring is called as endocyclic double bond. Then the double bond which is outside the ring but it is a part of the ring structure, then it is called as exocyclic double bond. You can see from this figure also the endocyclic double bond is present inside the ring and exocyclic double bond is part of the ring system but it is outside the ring structure. So, with this now we shall uh, see the values assigned to each basic structures also to the different substituents. The base value or parent value for a cyclic conjugated diene or heteroannular conjugated diene is 215 nanometer. A cyclic means a open chain structure, for example, 13 butadiene. Then, heteroannular conjugated diene, just now I have shown you the conjugated diene system. So, if this is the basic structure, then the value assigned to that part of the molecule is 215 nanometer. Then, if it is a homoannular conjugated diene, for example, if the diene is inside only one ring, then it is called as homoannular diene. If this is the structure present in a molecule, then it is considered as homoannular diene and the base value or parent value assigned is 253 nanometers. Suppose if a molecule contains both heteroannular diene as well as homoannular diene, then the base value considered will be 253 nanometers. Then if at all triene system is present in a molecule, then usually for each double bond extending the conjugation plus 30 nanometer is added to this base value. So, this is the acyclic conjugated diene for this 250 nanometer. If there is extra one more double bond in conjugation, then each time 30 is added. Hence, the triene contain will be having the base value as 245 nanometers. Then, if there are alkyl substituents or a ring residue, then to the base value, 
uh, 5 nanometer is added that is we shall see the meaning of ring residue so this is a parent diene which is present in different ring structures hence it is an example of heteroannular diene hence the value considered base value considered is 215 nanometers then to this basic heteroannular diene there are carbon atoms attached inside the ring so therefore each of this is considered as ring residue i repeat this to this double bond again there is an attachment of carbon st structure of the ring it is a part of the ring hence it is considered as ring residue we can see in this figure this is the basic diene structure 1 2 3 4 there are four carbon atoms to the fourth carbon atom again there is one ch2 group which is a part of the ring it is called as ring residue again here one more carbon atom is attached again it is a part of the ring it is called as ring residue and again lastly at this point there is an attachment of carbon atom hence it is also called as a ring residue in all there are three ring residues then you may ask me the question as here also there is a carbon atom whether it is not taken into consideration so it they are one which are attached to this basic structure only are considered and the others which are far away from this ring structure has not that much influence on varying the lambda max value so they are not considered okay then since it's an exos heteroannular diene you can see here this double bond is attached to the first ring which is outside the ring structure hence this structure is considered as exocyclic double bond therefore again 5 nanometer is added to the base value in all there is a one heteroannular diene structure the base value taken is 250 nanometer then there are three ring residues so for each ring residue 5 nanometer is added in total 15 nanometer and there is one more exocyclic double bond for this 5 nanometer is added the total of this is 235 nanometer hence for this molecule the lambda max value is 235 nanometer and the same molecule has observed 235 nanometer as the lambda max with uv spectrometer so this is how the woodward pfizer rule is taken into consideration for the calculation of lambda max with the help of the structure given sometimes there will be more than two double bonds in conjugation so they are called as double bonds extending the conjugation okay so in all the woodward pfizer rule says that if the molecule has a cyclic conjugated diene or heteroannular conjugated diene the base value considered will be 250 nanometer then if it is a homoannular conjugated diene then 253 nanometer then a cyclic triene 245 nanometers to this basic structure if there are alkyl substituents or ring residue phi nanometer will be added to the base value depending on the ring structure i mean ring residue or alkyl substituent the value will be multiplied then exocyclic double bond if it is present 5 nanometer will be added to the basic structure value base value then double bond extending the conjugation for each double bond 30 nanometer will be added then oxochromes depending on the type of oxochromes the corresponding values are added to the base value like alkoxy group thioalkyl groups halogens 
then uh, nr2 alkyl amines then so these are the oxochromes apart from this if there is a solvent then it is also taken into the consideration so this is the woodward pfizer rule for simple conjugated dienes or trienes with this now we shall see the woodward pfizer rule for the calculation of lambda max for alpha beta unsaturated dienes with carbonyl group okay thank you